Meghan Markle's secret message to Mother Doria in her coat dress revealed Meghan Markle and Prince Harry arrived at a special event to celebrate the Commonwealth and the first appearance of the Duchess of Sussex in her new youth role. The Duchess embraced her blossoming baby bump as she arrived with husband Harry at the Commonwealth Day Youth event in Canada House, London. Meghan smiled to crowds waving Canadian flags as she stepped out of her Range Rover wearing a dark green Erdem coat dress and black stiletto heels. She finished her look with a black clutch and her signature messy bun hairstyle. As well as giving a nod to Canada with the choice of Canadian Turkish designer Erdem, Meghan paid a touching tribute to her mother Doria with her choice of outfit. The Erdem coat dress, a step away from her usual more casual style, featured embroidery bearing the same name as her mother, who lives in Los Angeles. A spokeswoman for Erdem told Express.co.uk the applique was called Doria Beaded Rose Embroidery. Meghan is very close to her mother Daria Ragland, and is the only member of her family she still has contact with after the Markle family turned on the Duchess. Daria flew over to London to support Meghan on her first project as the Duchess of Sussex, when she launched the Together cookbook for the Grenfell Hub Community Kitchen. And Meghan and Harry paid a secret visit to Daria in a stopover during their Australasia tour. A source told The Sun, Meghan is a mommy's girl their special mother-daughter bond hasn't disappeared just because she's moved to England. Meghan will always come back to Doria, this will always be her home. They are forever in touch. And Meghan has been here to stay on more than one occasion since going public with Harry. I even saw him here once, but it's not my place to say anymore. Meghan was made Vice President of the Queen's Commonwealth Trust on Friday, International Women's Day. Prince Harry is President. The charity funds and connects young leaders around the world, and builds on the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's work championing young people. Meghan and Harry were welcomed by Canada's High Commissioner to the UK Janice Charette, and signed a visitor's book in the lobby of the building overlooking Trafalgar Square to mark the start of their visit. The couple met young Canadians to talk about their experiences working in London in the fashion, arts, business and academia sectors, as well as young entrepreneurs, Meghan and Harry then maple taffy sweets with children. This afternoon Harry and Meghan will join Prince William and Kate, as well as the Queen and other members of the royal family for the Commonwealth service at Westminster Abbey. This year is the 70th anniversary of the Commonwealth. In TH Queen's message to mark Commonwealth Day the head of state has praised how the family of nations inspires its member states to find ways of protecting the planet and its citizens. Millions of people are drawn together because of the collective values shared by the institution, the Queen said in her address to the 53 countries of the Commonwealth. Speaking of Meghan's new role with the Queen's Commonwealth Trust, the organization said, in this new role, the Duchess will highlight the Trust's partnerships with young people across the Commonwealth, and in particular its work supporting women and girls. Laura Geit, Chairman, said, The Queen's Commonwealth Trust is thrilled to welcome the Duchess of Sussex as its Vice President. The support and encouragement which Her Royal Highness will bring to the young leaders with whom we work promises to have a profound effect. We are enormously grateful to the Duke and Duchess of Sussex for the signal of commitment they are making to our work, helping the Queen's Commonwealth Trust to pursue its ambitions right across the Commonwealth and beyond. Nicola Brentnell, Chief Executive, said, We are particularly delighted that the first opportunity of formally working together with Her Royal Highness comes on International Women's Day. This squares perfectly with our focus on amplifying the work and contribution of those furthest away from power. Women across the Commonwealth and the globe often face the biggest impediments to success. So we are delighted to have our Vice President's support in helping others to overcome those obstacles. Later this evening Prince Charles and Camilla are attending the Commonwealth Day reception at Marlborough House. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to get instant news update.